Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing some stuff in the Lego room. I also got to run to Costco to pick up some stuff. And there's some other things that I've got to do out and about in the city as well. And I'm going to take you along on the ride. Right, kids? Yeah. I know, I'm so cold. I need my coat. Thank you. Check it out, it's Millie's favorite character. Hey Millie, where's Mickey? Oh. Is that Mickey? <coughs> Millie, where else is Mickey? Is Mickey over there? <coughs> she loves pointing out Mickey Mouse. She's like, it's Mickey. <coughs> Mickey. <laughs> Got the kids put down for the first nap. Whew, that's always a good feeling. We're down to one parent right now. Well, one and a half, I'll say, because uh, Jose is sick. So she's sleeping as much as possible to try and recover from that sickness because that's what you got to do when you're sick. And I don't want to get sick. That would suck. I feel bad for anybody that's sick, and I hope she can recover swiftly. That's for sure. Uh, operating this household with one parent, though, is, is difficult. Millie and Benjamin are a lot. Hey, they just turned a uh, year and a half old yesterday. February 14th is their half birthday. So Valentine's Day. Year and a half already though, isn't that crazy? That is insane. So today in this vlog, I wanna do a bunch of running around. I have to do a bunch of running around because I gotta get a whack of stuff. And included in that is uh, Costco. I wanna check out the Lego at Costco. I wanna check out uh, some of the other things that they sell there because they virtually sell everything and I need some stuff for the uh, new studio space. I wanna start planning that out as well. And then uh, I want to continue uh, packing up here in the Lego room because it's sort of a mess and I need to continue preparing for the big move, which is happening on March 1st. Hey, I want to talk about that. <clears throat> a lot of people are, are asking, uh, when, when am I going to reveal the new studio space? Not until March. Uh, I don't actually own it yet. I don't actually have possession of the building. I can't actually go in there. When I reveal it, I want to reveal it. Like I want to give it, I want to do it justice, right? I don't want to reveal it using some crummy photos. That doesn't really feel right. And I don't really feel right revealing it without actually having it in my possession, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to do it until that date. I know I've been hyping it up a lot and talking about it a lot, but that's just because I'm really excited about it. And that's what's happening in my life right now. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry I can't show you photos or images or videos of the new studio space until I actually have possession of it, if that makes sense. I just want to make it like a cool video when I officially reveal it too. But yeah, we got lots of running around to do, so let's hit the road. First stop is sort of a strange one. To go get some face cream. It was urgent. I know Jose's gonna be like, you didn't buy the right one. I've got lots of stuff at home. But it's like, I was driving here and I felt like my face was like shriveling up. It's so dry here in Alberta. It's ridiculous. Ugh, I needed it. I couldn't go this entire trip without having it, honestly. Oh, like, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I was like a uh, gold member. I'm peeling. <laughs> That's no longer the case. The next stop that I need to make is actually Goodwill. Try to chop off a bunch of stuff. You know what? I'm in the area. How could I say no? Gotta check out TR if I'm driving right by it. Rideable luggage. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to bring the kids to Disneyland so they can meet Mickey and Spider-Man and stuff. Like, Millie is gonna be fired up. Maybe we'll have to get them some rideable luggage. Hey, they have the uh, Year of the Dragon promos here, so you get them when you spend 80 bucks. They made a big change to Toys R Us. They're putting HMV, do you remember what HMV? Well, they're putting HMV in their store, so they're selling like records now, records and CDs and such. But in the Lego aisle, there's really nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing on sale. In fact, I've noticed some price boosts, specifically on like CMFs. They've gone up to six ninety nine, so they raised those up a dollar. And I don't really see anything on sale. Yeah, so nothing worth uh, really getting here. I I don't think not today. But it's pretty cool seeing HMV in Toys R Us. That's different. And they're also selling books. Since when did HMV sell books? That's weird. And DVDs too. Hey, we watched Man of Steel the other day. 
I haven't seen like the other Supermans. I should probably get on that. Here's an interesting book. It's the Lego story. Cool. All right, one of my other favorite destinations, the Home Depot. I'm checking out something super exciting at the Home Depot. So I have a big shop back. It's like, I don't know, one of these big mothers, right? I'm thinking about getting a small one, like something like that, like a little handheld model. Because when I'm like working on building tables, for example, lugging this big thing around is sort of annoying, specifically in my basement. But if I had like this little handheld one that could get in there and suck up all the sawdust, it'd be a lot more convenient than lugging this huge vacuum around. But I just want to try and find one that's like reasonable, you know, like not ridiculously expensive, like $228. That's, that seems a bit outrageous. This one's 100 but do I value the convenience at $100? Maybe. I think it'd be super convenient to have one of those. I'm funny though. I like convince myself that I'm going to get one. And then I go and I stand in the aisle and I'm like, yeah, do I need it though? I already have like other vacuums. Do I need a little handheld shop back? No, probably not. And then I leave. <laughs> if it was like a hundred dollar Lego set, like a new Lego Star Wars, mid-scale Millennium Falcon coming out, I wouldn't even think twice as to buying it. But a shop back? No, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm just like weird like that. Another thing I want to get is a uh, tire inflator as well because when it's cold out, you get low pressure in your tires and be nice doing that like in your garage. Sure, you can use a bicycle pump, but it takes forever. So when you get low tire pressure, you got to stop off at the gas station. It's usually 20 below. You got to like fill up your tires. You're like freezing. And it's like, ah, it would be nice to do that in the comfort of my own garage. But every time I look at them, I'm like, yeah, I probably don't need that. I just go to the gas station a few times a year and get her done, you know? <laughs> uh, but it was worth checking out, I guess. I'm sure there's some other stuff that I could have looked at at Home Depot, but I guess I just went there to look at tools. I was like walking down the Milwaukee and DeWalt uh, aisle and just looking at all the tools. It'd be cool to have a full tool collection, which I don't have at this point. I think the next thing I want to get though is a table saw. Another thing that I should have looked at while I was in there is a table saw. Because table saws are super handy when it comes to building Lego City tables. So eventually I want to get a table saw. Maybe I should go back in there. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait till I'm actually in the building table phase. Yeah. All right, I lied. I'm going to show you the new studio. No, I'm just kidding. We're uh, picking up an order from Uline, which is in a massive warehouse. Yeah, like look at the size of that facility there. Holy cow, it's a big operation. Wow. I picked up a ton of mailers and a ton of boxes from Uline, and look at this. I got a free tote. That's going to come in super handy while shopping at Costco. So I made the executive decision to become an executive member of Costco. So it's not bad. You pay for the membership. I got a $25 gift card, and now I get 2% cash back, and it's sent to me via check every year. So on top of Costco's great prices, I also get 2% off everything which is not too bad if I make some purchases here for the business on Lego, or I buy a TV, or a mini fridge, or all of the groceries. It's definitely worth it in the end, especially when you're feeding a family of four. Because my kids go through blueberries like you would not believe. But if you need a new washer or dryer, you know, they're 700 bucks each, get 2% back. It all adds up in the end. Maybe grab some sort of nice TV for the studio or some additional security cameras for the inside. There you go. Then we'd have footage of me dropping all the Lego. I'd capture every spill. <laughs> That's for sure gonna have to happen. What are those? 350 smackers, holy cow. But it'd be worth it, right? Look at that. It's like four cameras. Put those in the studio, just watching the Lego City at all times. <laughs> gonna have to grab like some sort of speaker or something because I am gonna be lonely over there. That's guarantee. Like I'm gonna have to listen to like podcasts or something, maybe get some noise canceling comfort headphones. I don't know, 300 bucks. Those are pretty pricey, but look, they're bows. Ooh. I don't window shop very often, but when I do, I like doing it at Costco. 
I don't know which one to get because there's so many different choices, but I know for sure I'm going to be getting some sort of robotic vacuum. This one like empties itself. I for sure need one or two of those just zipping around everywhere. Maybe just one. I don't think you need two because it'll go throughout the, the whole area. Yeah, might even need to get a new one of these. No, I think this should do the job. Hey, this is the, the second and third vacuum I've had a look at in this video. How weird is that? It's funny, when I was telling Jose that when we get set up over there, I'd like to have a, a mini fridge with like a freezer, one that's like this tall or something, and it's got a freezer and a mini fridge. It'd be cool to have a bunch of frozen food over there and maybe even like an air fryer or something, you know, a little fancier than a microwave. <laughs> maybe a blender? No, I don't think I'll go that far. But I'll for sure need some sort of coffee pot over there, no question about that. I don't know if I'll go all in with like another Nespresso machine. I don't know if I need an Nespresso machine at home and one at the office. Might be worth it though. We should probably make our way to Lego Isle, but I want to check out mini fridges. I didn't see any. I really don't think that's mini enough. What is even going on here? Like, what is this? What is that? What is this third compartment? This is new age tech. Holy crap, look at this, everybody. I for sure need to get these. That is so cool. They're color changing. Oh, so my plan is to put some primary lighting in and that's going to be like the 4000K what I currently have in the basement. And then I'm also going to put in some secondary lighting, which will like be color changing like that. So I can sort of set the tone, make it like blue or different time of day, right? And look, it's like programmable, Wi-Fi controlled. So what I could do is, you know, get the regular lighting installed. I didn't want to do like these everywhere because it would cost an absolute fortune and they won't provide as much light. But if I get the regular primary lighting installed and then I install secondary lighting, which gives me the option of having like cool colors and whatnot, I think that's the way to go. This is not bad though, 40 bucks, shop light. <gasps> it doesn't work. Oh no, it's a redirectional shop light though. But yeah, when we get the new place, uh, I'm installing all new lighting because it's like fluorescent light fixtures, which are power burners and not, they don't provide that much light. So I'm going with all LED, but like getting these in there would be insane to do all, all of that. I don't think it'd be worth it, but for sure secondary lighting. I'm also gonna be redoing the bathroom there. And I'm thinking to myself, it would be neat to get a sink installed like this. I know it's not your ordinary bathroom sink, but you could clean Lego in this. And that would be super convenient. Pretty big, like mid-sized batches of Lego could be cleaned in that. So maybe when I uh, get the bathroom redone, that might be something that I have to consider. I gotta make sure I do this right. So this thing right here is 350 bucks. Plus I get 2% off. Hey, hey, I'm saving uh, six, $7. That's actually not bad. 350 for that nice vanity? Might be worth it. Hey, it's those ones from TikTok. These things look crazy. I've never seen them in real life. Oh, those are so cool. Sort of unnecessary, but really cool. So I was definitely checking out like a bunch of the other outdoor stuff as well, but we do have Bowser's muscle car here. And then the colorful friends like modular building, this little friend set as well. And they're all discounted. Usually like it's about 20% off. I think the most impressive set here is this one, but I don't think I'm gonna get that ever. I don't know. I don't know if it needs to be added to my tech deck collection. I don't think I'm gonna get this one either. And that's it. That's all the Lego. It's all they have here. Not very good at all, but I am considering getting this or maybe a telescope. Not that you can see anything with the light pollution anyway. Not worth it. I sort of wish I lived out in the country for that reason. Stargazing. Hey, you can get a tiny Seinfeld cast. You can also get an Xbox Series X or the PlayStation. I think they're at a good value. 700 bucks, $738. Do I regret getting an Xbox over a PlayStation? Maybe. I don't know. I've never owned a PlayStation though. So pretty small grocery haul today. I've phoned Jose like three times and she hasn't answered because I don't know. Her grocery list didn't specify if we need anything else and I'm worried. 
Do we have enough eggs? Do we have enough bread? Do we have enough milk? Do we have enough jam? Do we have enough peanut butter? Maybe it's not on the list for a reason. <laughs> but I did get her some Buckley's and some cough drops and some more Buckley's. See, look at that. With my membership, I saved over $4. And I got a giant piece of pizza. Jeepers creepers, my car is getting full. I had to throw the puppy dog's food in the seat next to me here. Then I'm home. Are we gonna go for a walk? Whoa. Millie. <laughs> you guys are freakazoids. We gotta go get some fresh air though. Benjo, look how cute you are. You okay there, Mill? You gonna get up? There you go. <laughs> you guys are too cute. Well, Mr. Stormtrooper, we are lock stocked and ready to ship. We've got packing tape, boxes, more boxes, envelopes, more envelopes, and my mom saw that we were packing up the Lego room, and she's like, hey, you need these toes? I was like, oh, heck yeah, I do. That's going to be perfect for road plates. I got home and made another coffee, and I sat down on my desk here, and I was just flipping through this Uline catalog that I received in the mail. It's like, these guys sell everything. So we got our boxes and envelopes and all that. But when you uh, flip through this, like they sell everything. Like thermal printers, but like more than just shipping supplies, like cleaning supplies. Look at that. The accelerator hand dryer. Hey, maybe I don't need to use paper towel. I'm just kidding. Or a, a hand towel, I should say. Look at trash cans though. All different sizes of trash cans, which might be good for an industrial workplace right not really industrial but not really your average workplace right more commercial also shelving and you can use this stuff for your home too like it's really easy to become a uline customer look at that for sorting lego this is huge wow might need to go through this i've always said an open part system would be really cool to use and there you have it, folks. Whoo, imagine if that was your little Lego area. You had multiple of those. That would be pretty cool for your most ex like accessed parts. There's like totes and storage, clear cabinets, like showcases, lockers. Like they have everything. It's actually wild. Well, you saw that warehouse there. Folding chairs, maybe I can get a new office chair or some stools for wheeling around. I've been using a stool from Walmart when I'm working, working on my dioramas and it's just terrible. Maybe something with wheels would be better. Some nice desks as well. Filing cabinets for instruction manuals or whatever it may be. We just flip by them there. There's shelving on that page too. Lockers for propane tanks. You just never know what you're gonna need, right? <laughs> but yeah, I'm just saying like, there are so many cool things in this book like look at that little hairnet there wow but yeah there's just everything that you can imagine available at uline it's just crazy you don't really need to be a business owner to order from this place and i'm luckily that, that uh, they actually have a warehouse in edmonton here so i just go pick it up for free i don't have to pay freight boom pretty cool definitely worth having this catalog glad they mailed it to me what do you know another uline bag I think it's going to be better to put them in this tote, that's for sure. So down here, underneath the LEGO City tables, I've got an entire tote full of road plates. Then there's this banker's box, which is also full of road plates. This one is full of vehicles. Ow. <laughs> this one over here is... The one that I just filled full of miscellaneous like train track and mill plates and stuff. Then under here, that tower is full of road plates, as, or sorry, yeah, vehicles as well. And we got some miscellaneous parts like bricks and studs. And then all of the uh, train track that I have that can be used as well. And then all the unsorted parts right here. 
And then as you know, the entire city condensed up top here. You know what? I was thinking about the procedure of moving again. Originally, what I thought I was going to do is take all of these sets and move them over here <laughs> somehow. Like put them on the tables, put them underneath the tables, set up more tables and just have sets over here. And like all oh, the light goes over there and this would be empty. And then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to bring all of these shelves that are now empty to the new spot. But now I'm just thinking to myself, that is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> like this, all of this Lego, imagine all of that Lego being on this side of the room. It would suck. Like it, you wouldn't be able to move. So now what I'm thinking is when I finally get this place... What I'm going to do is bring all of the Lego over and throw it in the back, like bigger section of the, like the, the studio. So put all of this Lego on uh, Linman tables that I have in my garage. So build a bunch of Linman tables, throw it all on and underneath and, and just sort of throw it all in the back bay of the warehouse or the studio. I call it the warehouse, but I'm just, it is a studio. And then this will all be empty and then bring all the shelves over all at once. I don't know if you can tell, or I don't know if you've noticed over the last like month, but I'm extremely excited about moving to the new studio space. And at this point, it's January 15th. I just want it to be March 1st. Like I never want to wish away time, but like I just want it to be March 1st. Like I want to move. I'm ready to go. Like I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's just like, I need some more space. I need more breathing room. Like it, it's, it's just getting crazy down here and I want this bigger. Oh, I don't, I do want it. I, I, I look forward to it and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this new spot. It's going to be crazy. I don't know what else to pack up though. Like I feel like the packing up process can't get any more complete. Like just need the new spot now because the next step is to move Lego. Like just move all these sets over one by one. Brrr. We get them over there and then bring the shelves over, load the shelves and then build the new tables and move all the city stuff and then go from there. I don't know what else to do in order to prep, in order to prep for the move. Breaking down the city was the main concern and that's already done. Now it's just moving everything. So yeah, did I do it too early? Maybe, but I didn't really know what else to do. So I guess I'm going to have to tr sit here and twiddle my thumbs for the next two weeks. No, I'm just kidding. Well, a question mark for me at this point actually is what am I going to do with all of the minifigures that are related to the sets? For example, how am I going to transport these minifigures with the Millennium Falcon or these minifigures with this speeder? How am I going to make sure that all of these minifigs stay with those particular sets? I could put them all in like sandwich bags and write down what set they belong to, or I could just move these minifigures and then tap them to the studs. But then when I go to move these sets, they might fall off. So I got to figure out how I'm going to transport the minifigures. I'm thinking just putting them in sandwich bags though, and then scotch tape them to the sets or put them inside the set or write down what set they belong to, or just memorize it because for the most part I can memorize it, but I don't really want to just throw them all into one big box or bag then it just becomes a hornet's nest right so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna do that yeah but i uh i'm so excited it's it's crazy hmm <laughs> what to do now like i i truly don't know what to do now that's sort of an issue I can always sort lego and i can always work on uh, modular buildings or whatever it may be because we're gonna need a lot more modular buildings and structures and mountains and stuff when we get to the new studio space so I could always work on those and I'm sure I'll come up with something related to that. It's really about it though, everybody. I don't know what else to do today specifically. I'm just like really excited and I am just ready to go. That's where I'm at. Just ready to go. <laughs> it's going to be insane. I'm, I'm sorry once again that I can't show you the actual place, but... I will eventually, in good time, a couple weeks. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on by. Hope you enjoyed this video. Some good looking stuff there at Costco, that's for sure. Not really Lego related, but studio related. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for a while.